Welcome to Suncoast. I visited Budapest several times over the years. This last visit was in May 2024. It seems that every time I go to Budapest, the city appears more prosperous and vibrant. Budapest is the capital of Hungary and is located in Central Europe. It spans both banks of the Danube River. Budapest comprises of three main parts, Buda and Obuda on the west bank and Pest on the east bank. The city is characterized by diverse topography with Gellert and Buda hills on the west bank of the Danube contrasting with the flat plains of Pest to the east. The Danube River, which flows north to south through the city, is a defining element of Budapest's landscape, providing both a scenic and practical central axis around which the city has developed. Budapest's history is rich and varied, shaped by numerous civilizations and historical events over the millennia. The area that is now Budapest was originally settled by Celtic tribes. The Romans established the town of Aquinsum in 89 AD on the site of modern-day Obuda, which became an important military and civilian center. Aquinsum served as the capital of the Roman province of Pannonia Inferior. After the fall of the Roman Empire, the area was occupied by various tribes, including the Huns, Goths, and Avars. The Magyar tribes, ancestors of the modern Hungarians, arrived in the late 9th century and by the early 10th century they had established control over the Carpathian Basin. In 1241-1242 the Mongol invasion devastated much of Hungary, including Pest. In the aftermath, King Bela IV fortified the area and rebuilt Buda on the hilly west bank of the Danube, which became a royal residence. After the foundation of the Buda Castle in 1244, Hungarian civilians built their own chapel in the Buda Castle district and was dedicated to St. Mary Magdalene. The tower is built in late Gothic style and is the only medieval monument maintained in its original form. The church served as the parish church for the minority Hungarian population of Buda, while the nearby Church of Our Lady, Matthias Church, served the majority population at the time, which was German-speaking. Buda was declared the capital of Hungary in 1361. In 1526, the Battle of Mohawks resulted in a crushing defeat for the Hungarians by the Ottomans, and Buda fell to the Ottomans in 1541. For the next 150 years, much of Hungary, including Buda and Pest, was under Ottoman control. The Ottomans brought significant cultural and architectural influences, including bats and mosques. During the Ottoman occupation, the Church of Mary Magdalene was the only functioning Christian church in the country until its later transformation to a mosque. A coalition of European forces led by the Habsburgs recaptured Buda in 1686 from the Ottomans. Hungary became part of the Habsburg Empire and the Habsburgs embarked on a reconstruction and development program. Franz Joseph I was crowned King of Hungary in 1792, with the coronation taking place at the Matthias Church in Buda. The cities of Buda, Pest and Obuda were officially unified in 1873 to form Budapest. Budapest quickly became one of the fastest growing metropolitan areas in Europe. The unification spurred extensive urban development, including the construction of iconic structures such as the Hungarian Parliament Building, the Buda Castle, and the Chain Bridge. Budapest became one of the centers of the Austro-Hungarian Empire in the late 19th century and early 20th century, experiencing a golden age of economic prosperity and cultural development. It was known for its architectural beauty and vibrant intellectual life. The collapse of the Austro-Hungarian Empire following World War I led to significant political and social upheaval and eventually territorial loss in occupied territories. In March 1919, the Hungarian Soviet Republic was established under the leadership of Bela Kun, making a brief period of communist rule. The new government aimed to establish the Soviet-style regime, which faced opposition from neighboring countries and internal factions. In response to the establishment of the Hungarian Soviet Republic in March 1919, Romanian forces launched a military offensive a month later. The Romanian advance put immense pressure on the Hungarian Soviet Republic, leading to its collapse. 
Bella Kun and his government fled the country on August 1, 1919, thus liberating Hungary from a Soviet-style regime. The Treaty of Trianon, signed on June 4, 1920, was a significant blow to Hungary. The treaty resulted in Hungary losing about two-thirds of its imperial territory and population, ceding land to Romania, Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, and Austria. The territorial losses had profound economic and social consequences, leading to widespread discontent and a sense of national humiliation. Between World War I and World War II, Hungary experienced a period of profound change marked by the collapse of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the traumatic Treaty of Trianon, and the rise of authoritarian and extremist regimes. The country's efforts to regain lost imperial territories and its alignment with Nazi Germany ultimately led to devastating consequences during World War II. After World War II, Hungary experienced significant political, economic, and social changes, transitioning from a wartime occupation to a communist regime. Hungary was occupied by Soviet forces in 1945. The 1947 parliamentary elections were marked by intimidation and electoral fraud, leading to a significant victory for the communists. In 1949, Hungary was declared a People's Republic and the Hungarian Working People's Party became the sole ruling party. Hungary adopted Stalinist policies including collectivization of agriculture, nationalization of industry and political repression. Thousands were imprisoned, tortured or executed in purges. In October 1956, a nationwide revolt against the Soviet-imposed policies erupted. Soviet forces brutally suppressed the uprising in November 1956. Janos Kadar, installed by the Soviets, led Hungary from 1956 to 1988. His regime, known for goulash communism, implemented moderate economic reforms, allowed limited market mechanisms, and improved living standards. By the late 1980s, Hungary faced economic stagnation and growing debt. After the fall of the Soviet Union in 1989, Hungary began transitioning to a multi-party system. The transition culminated in the dissolution of the communist regime and the establishment of the Third Hungarian Republic. Hungary joined the Council of Europe in 1990, NATO in 1999, and the European Union in 2004. These moves reflected Hungary's commitment to Western democratic values and economic integration. The post-communist period saw significant economic growth, but also challenges. I hope you enjoyed my video. Budapest is a beautiful city and it should be on your list of must-visit. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.